The First Hood County Jail was a log cabin built near the Brazos River. Not only was the cabin becoming inadequate by the late 19th century, but it was decided that a place needed to be built providing for the possibility of local executions if necessary. The one legal execution in Hood County was a 1875 hanging of an elderly man over a court decision involving a land dispute. Built in 1885 and operating as a Hood County Jail from 1886 to 1978, this building served as the only jail for both city and county prisoners. Texas law was eventually changed that all capital punishment would be carried out by the state in a centralized location. So no gallows were ever erected and the large open room was used as a meeting place for prisoners and their attorneys. The first floor contains four rooms and a bathroom intended as the sheriff's living quarters. Throughout the years, records indicate that sheriffs, city marshals, or deputies actually lived downstairs, depending on the needs of the individuals. The second floor has three rooms, the gallows, a single cell used for women and the insane, the main cell has within it a freestanding iron cage designed as two cells with up to four beds per cell. Within the cage and outside cells is a common toilet and wash basin. Behind the jail building is the kitchen, where the wife of the resident official would cook the inmates meals. They required two per day in the early days. The space between the kitchen and the jail was later closed in. Although the building was state of the art when it was built, it had plumbing on both floors, Hard use and lack of funds allowed the building to fall into disrepair. Several offices like the city police, county sheriff, and eventually DPS, including dispatch, moved into the floor floor. Long before the Brazos River was dammed in the 1970s and Lake Granbury was formed, the old stone jail was starting to show its age. No major improvements have been made since it was wired for electricity in the 1930s. When the county built a new law enforcement center and moved, the Chamber of Commerce used the building. During their tenure, the Chamber received a grant to renovate the first floor, as it can be seen today. Now, keeping in mind that we have been to Hood County Jail numerous occasions over the last 10 years, probably on the order of two to three times per year, we've always, no matter what the feeling was there, there's been times where it's been super active and other times where it's been not as active. Every time that we've gone, we've always gotten a little bit of evidence, whether it's an EVP or a ghost box reply or something along those lines. Since this is 2020, we were on lockdown for the whole COVID-19 thing. So we decided that, hey, it lightened up a little bit in Texas. Let's get out, investigate Hood County Jail. Let's see what exactly we found on this little excursion. So as we were traveling out to Hood County Jail, we decided to stop by the local cemetery, which actually holds the grave of the famous outlaw, Jesse James. That might be it, because it's got the, yep, that's gotta be it, because it's got the engravement in the middle of it. Jesse Woodson yep, Gray. that's it. It's all right. Hi, Jesse. Happen to have a ghost box up in the trunk. Out here at the graveside of Jesse James. Now, purportedly, he was killed back in 18 what? 52, maybe? 1852, but apparently, oh yeah, supposedly killed in 1882. 82. But came to Granbury, Texas to live out the rest of his life and died in 1951 according to local lure so we're gonna try a little ghost box session local lure lure or lure 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 fishing lure i didn't bring anything for an offering i didn't know hello jesse james are you here Jesse Woodson James, are you here? Six. Oh, six. Jesse is? Maybe? Let's try FM. Just for giggles. 
For shits and giggles, we'll try FX. Oh, that's more like beads. Is this really the grave of the famous outlaw Jesse James? Hey Jesse, if I put some money on your grave, would you like that? Hello? Hi. How are you doing? I mean, other than the fact that you're dead, but how are you doing? <laughs> Hey, Jesse, how many people did you kill? Jesse, did you ever have any kids? Jesse, if you had any kids, can you tell me how many? Funny. If you did, you were a busy guy. You probably got a lot of poo things. <laughs> so Jesse, if this is really your grave, who's buried in your other grave? It's hot, so, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go, but Jesse, it's very cool to see your grave here. I'm going to leave you some money, all right? Is, is that James? Alright James, we're going to go ahead and leave, or Jesse, we're going to leave in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, alright, thank you, I'm going to leave you some money, alright, alright, bye-bye.